Welcome back to East Texas Live on KETK. Joining us now is Dr. Stephen Hutto with Christus Trinity Clinic Gastroenterology. Good morning. Good morning. So we're talking about hemorrhoids this morning. First of all, what are hemorrhoids? Hemorrhoids are normal structures in the rectum and they're comprised of connective tissue and blood vessels. And when that connective tissue breaks down to certain risk factors, they can actually become symptomatic and cause problems. So what causes them? The risk factors are constipation from decreased fiber and fluid intake, a sedentary lifestyle, um, and uh, straining to have a bowel movement and actually sitting on the toilet for more than two minutes. Wow. All those things are risk factors. So how common are these and are there different types? 50% of, of Americans by the time they're 50 will have symptomatic hemorrhoids. Um, and. Um, about 10 million Americans have symptoms from hemorrhoids annually, and 3.5 million Americans seek medical attention annually for them. Wow, so they're not rare at all. They're not so, rare. So what are the kinds of treatments for these? Well, there's conservative treatment, which is most patients will respond to, and that's 20 to 30 grams of fiber per day, six to eight glasses of water per day, not straining to have a bowel movement and uh, spending less than two minutes again on the, on the commode. So how, is there any way of really preventing this at all? Or well, does it happen at some point in your life? No, if you maintain a healthy diet, with the fiber and the water, it's much less likely to happen. We don't eat enough fiber in this country, that's why they're so common. Now, it's summertime, and some people say that, hey, during the summer, these can actually get worse. Is there any truth to that? Well, they can be exacerbated by heavy lifting and heat. Uh, it increases the blood flow and increases the vascular engorgement. So yes, they can become more symptomatic in the mm -hmm. summertime. Now, over at Chris is Trinity Mother Francis, you know, when patients come in with these, how do you guys help them? How's that process like? Well, the first process is to make sure that that's what's bothering them because they present with bleeding or pain and a lot of times pain is from something other than hemorrhoids so we have to assess the problem first and then we recommend the conservative treatment which I just went through and after about six weeks if that hasn't worked there are treatment options for the hemorrhoids that are internal that will reduce or go back inside there's a in-office treatment called rubber band ligation which is 90 percent effective and it's relatively painless for the patients that have external hemorrhoids or hemorrhoids that will not reduce or go back inside, then surgery is the best option. Now, how important is it really to take care of these? It, it, they are very problematic for patients that have recurrent symptoms. Um, if you have recurrent bleeding down the road, you're not sure what the bleeding is from. That can be an issue. Could it really be a colon cancer or some other problem? And it bothers a lot of people. I mean, the symptoms are the issues we're trying to resolve mostly. Mm -hmm. And at the clinic, besides hemorrhoids, what else do you all take care of? Oh, we take care of a multitude of problems. Liver disease, gallbladder disease, pancreas disease, uh, stomach problems like heartburn, ulcers, um, general abdominal pain, irritable bowel, and that's great. Y'all cover it all then. We cover it all in the GI tract, absolutely. <laughs> Who can people contact or where can they go if they want more information on this? Well, they can call our office at uh, Trinity Mother Francis Gastroenterology, and uh, if they'd like to be seen in the hemorrhoid clinic, we have a dedicated hem hemorrhoid clinic for this purpose. Wow. Well, thank you very much. You I bet. greatly appreciate it. Okay. Well, coming up.